Sarah nervously drew a heartfelt confession card for Andy, but Andy tore the card into countless pieces and abruptly left, Ella was left heartbroken. One fateful day, while Andy was talking to another girl, Ella rushed toward them and pushed Andy away with all her strength. Andy narrowly escaped being crushed, but his legs were tragically pinned under the heavy furniture. The excruciating pain caused him to scream in agony. At the hospital, Ella had pieced together each torn fragment of the card, there being a missing piece to symbolize the part of Andy's leg that was now missing. Do you believe that tearing or burning a photo of someone could bring about unfortunate events in their life? Please comment below. Have you ever received an unexpected gift from an unknown admirer? Kaylee experienced this on her birthday when she received an adorable doll, but was unable to guess who it was from. Later, she noticed someone peeping through her window and became outraged. Without hesitation, she stormed outside to catch the peeping Tom in the act. The peeping Tom, frightened by Kaylee's sudden appearance, attempted to flee but accidentally injured his foot and was unable to escape. Kaylee shouted, Get out of here! and went on her way feeling victorious. The peeping Tom retreated to a rundown house where he was seen looking at his phone. Upon closer inspection, it was discovered that he had lost an eye and had some sort of connection between his nerves and his phone. The phone displayed a live feed of Kaylee, and it was revealed that he had been spying on her through the eyes of the doll that she had received as a gift. Be vigilant of our surroundings, particularly in a world where technology can be exploited for privacy invasion. It also reminds us to be cautious of gifts we receive and to consider the sender's intentions. Ferlin loves hiking and often goes on adventures in the mountains. One day, as she was hiking home, she stepped on a sharp object that pierced her foot, rendering her unable to walk feeling stranded and helpless, Ferlin spotted a massive figure approaching from afar. As it drew closer, she realized it was a giant with a child. Surprisingly, the giant picked her up without any hostility and carried her to their home. Once they arrived, the giant tended to Ferlin's wound and bandaged it up. Although the giant's behavior was peculiar, Ferlin couldn't tell if he had good or bad intentions. Suddenly, the giant licked her foot, causing Ferlin to panic and run away. She came across the giant child, who was half buried in the ground and munching on a mouse. Disgusted, Ferlin ran as fast as she could. But unfortunately, she stepped on another sharp object, and this time, it was the giant child holding a sharp knife. Ferlin realized that the giants had been digging tunnels underground to catch their prey. Pinocchio quietly picked up her beloved necklace and slipped out of the house. Geppetto, who was busy working, noticed something was wrong but was too late to stop his daughter from eloping with her online boyfriend. Later, they lived together and Pinocchio gave her all, including the necklace, to her boyfriend. But their happy life didn't last long. Pinocchio became pregnant, and the scumbag cheated on her with another woman in front of her. Pinocchio expressed her dissatisfaction, but the scumbag beat her and kicked her out. Get out of my house! Pinocchio had nowhere to go. She felt hopeless, but suddenly a figure approached her. It was her father Geppetto, who quietly brought her daughter's necklace to find her. The two hugged and cried. Pinocchio saw the bloodstains on her father and seemed to know what had happened. She knew that her father would always be her strongest support. He told her that humans don't treat puppets sincerely, and puppets are just human toys.